What does John 3.16 mean to me and, and what, what it's uh, meant for my family and me? That's what the story is. And that's what, that's what the things I wanted to touch on. But um, just, just the whole, whole thing is, is amazing. I mean, from, uh, from Brian, from Brian Tuggle and Bob Tuggle being out in the, you know, out in the uh, countryside there and looking around at a place and uh, the Lord putting it on Brian's heart to start something there. And uh, the story of the, the sparrow and uh, I mean, just, just the, uh, from, from, from that very beginning, it's just an amazing story, and all that has um, that all all that has come about, and uh, you know, for the glory of God. Uh, since that time, it's just truly uh, it's an, an amazing thing, and uh, the whole concept to me. My sister says that she had to describe John three sixteen in one word. It's healing. Mm-hmm. And the healing that I've seen uh, is come about by being uh, taught how to serve. And the way uh, the men there, John 3, 16, are taught how to serve is by example of those that are already there that have been serving. And uh, so it's not something, uh, it's more than just say you need to serve it's uh, it's showing men there how to serve, and it's not just uh, a one-on-one. It's it's uh, it goes to the whole camp. That uh, you know, what did Jesus do when he came? He came to save us, and he did. Right. But what did he do when he was here? He served. That's right. He didn't just stay in one town. He didn't just stay in one town. He said, I, I, we need to go here. We need to go he- there. And, you know, every um, he was always on the move, meeting people where they were. And right. that's what John, and, and I see that in, in, in John 3. Um, and so, um, you know, and, and the men there are taught. Uh, I mean, it's more than healing by serving, of course. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a t- total surrender. And uh, a total trust. You have to totally trust in Jesus, and totally surrender to Him. And uh, and through the 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 the, uh, the program, not programs, but uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Through the uh, the um, the ministry. Uh, still not finding the word I'm, I want to get. But what uh, they're shown how to 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 uh, they're they're shown an example of that. Right. Because there are so many there, uh, those wonderful instructors and, uh, you know, James and, and you, Brian, and, um, you know, there has been that total surrender and that that uh, total trust and uh, picking up that cross, you know, daily, hourly, minute by minute. And it's not and it's uh, it's not just something for the men of John 3, 16 or any man or woman that's uh, addicted to drugs and alcohol. It's it's all of us. We all need that, but uh, just just that the whole the whole camp and the story. Uh, you know, I've known the ministry for about seven and a half years, and it's tripled. It has tripled in number of residents. It's tripled in the number of instructors, and uh, you know, I don't know how many graduates there's been. Probably close to fifteen hundred now, and. The, the the ripple effect of all the things that have, have happened, all the wonderful ministries that have come out of there. Uh, you could go on and on and on about them. And um, not just men, but also women's ministries that have sprung from uh, what's been going on there in Charlotte, Arkansas. It's it's truly amazing. And, and just... Uh, some wonderful stories, some wonderful testimonies. And I don't want to leave out my buddy... Uh, St. John Britt has a wonderful testimony, and he, he's the first one to tell you he, he was brought in there in shackles. 
on a Sunday and uh, out, of, out of jail, brought in there in shackles, had to come back another week, brought in shackles. Right. And he's been there, I don't know how many years. Twelve. Twelve years. And what a, what a wonderful story. What a wonderful testimony. What a wonderful child of God he is. Uh, if you had a biblical dictionary and you looked up the word obedience, I, I'm guessing John Britt's picture is going to be there or would be there if there was such a thing. Um, that steadfast obedience that I've witnessed and known uh, and got to know about John Britt is um, just consider where he came from and where he is now and the power of God uh, that's been working in his life. That's an amazing story. I mean, I, I singled him out. I like to pick on him, and uh, I don't think he'll mind uh, in this regard. But there's been so many uh, other testimonies, so many other uh, examples of, of men that have come through there and where they started and where they are now and what they continue to do um, to help others. And it's an amazing, it's an amazing story. Um, through, through the ministry, we have met some incredibly generous people, some incredibly pious and holy people. Um, I mean, and the Fosters uh, out of Batesville and the Rampleys out of Jonesboro and, and the Menners out of Benton and uh, uh, the Everett's out of Conway. Uh, you know, I could go on and on, and I'm probably leaving out some really great ones, but these are the ones that I, I know the best. And uh, they're just, uh, what I said, they're just incredibly generous, and th they get it. They, they understand um, the big picture and, and what's going on out there. And I wouldn't know these folks. I, I wouldn't, I would have never have known these folks if it hadn't been for the ministry. And so uh, let me back up, you know, the, the ministry obviously saved my son's life in 2014. I truly believe that. He truly believes that. <clears throat> Changed my whole family's life. Brought us so much closer to Christ. Um, who knows? Uh, who knows what would have happened or where we'd be uh, if that bad hadn't been turned into that good that we were talking about. And so, um, I, I don't know, I just, um, you saw my wall, my, my wall has all the John 3 stuff on it, and, uh, and now I sit around and listen to uh, Christian music. I, I don't really find a whole lot of interest in any other type of music, so my wife and I hold hands we, when we pray together. We really never prayed much together. Before that, um, it's just it's just been uh, I, I don't even know. There's words that really can't even describe what's uh, what's happened with uh, my son and our family, our whole family, and hopefully my grandkids. Uh, uh, as you were talking about, Brian. But anyway, I. Uh, I, I, I do want to take this opportunity to say I am going to, I've, I've told Brian Tuggle that I am going to write a book, and I have started that book on John 316 Ministries, mm -hmm. and I, I, uh, I've got an, a really good idea. I've started it. I've gotten a couple of chapters written, but I, I mean, if anyone, uh, if somehow anyone is is hearing this or will it will hear this and they have stories i'm not on facebook my wife but my wife debbie is debbie beach and um uh, and i'm guessing if you send a, a story or something that's a, a great story uh, you can send it to john three and maybe they'll send it on to me uh to, that that i would love to <clears throat> read that story and and uh, we'll figure out a way to get it in the book amen amen Amen. Um, the story needs to be told. Yeah. The story needs to be told. It's a story uh, that needs to be told over and over again. But anyway, I, I, I just love Brian and uh, uh, all the wonderful instructors, James and their wives. And uh, uh, it's just, 
they're, they're like family and have been. And thank God they, I think they consider me family and I'm so proud to be a part of that family. And um, anyway, we I love John 316. I love Jesus. How about that? You've never heard that before. <laughs> we love you too, Gray. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's pray. Jane, you gonna pray? Yes. Father, thank you so much for sending your son to die on the cross for us and raise him on the third day so we all could have salvation and, and your salvation. Thank you for your mercy and your love and your grace that you show on us every day. Um, thank you for, for all the opportunities that you give us while we walk here on earth. And Lord, thank you for everything you've done for us, but keep showing us what we can do for you, Lord, to help um, men come to know you, to get a relationship with you, and uh, pray for Ray's family and everything they need, uh, and, and all the men here at John 3, 16, Lord, just keep drawing them to you, to where they can have a personal relationship with you and have life more abundantly. And Lord, thank you for your word that says nothing is impossible. And we love you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Great prayer, James. Thank you. Yes, sir. And thank you very much for your time, Ray. Thank you for stopping by. And uh, back to you, Garcia. Love you, Ray. All right. Bye.